So friends have you ever wondered why in India privacy of games is not a major concern, and why still Indian people still playing pirated games rather than buying? So today I gonna share my opinion I am your friend Shifero and you watching Shifero Gaming. Before I gonna start we have to understand that gaming in India is still a luxury for most population and our culture mostly focus on taking responsibility of our parents and siblings and focus more on career rather than entertaining ourselves. So because of this most people in India doesn't have much time to play games and most of time we will be doing our work so we need to know them only 10% of adult Indians play games apart from mobile and they mostly won't have good PC. Okay also why I am using this bot voice. Because I don't have good PC and I ain't got mic to talk so I am using a website to generate speech from text and why using English language? Because this silly bot don't speak good Hindi language. So gaming was first well introduced in India, by the time of 90s where people used to play on a fake Game Boy console, and playing Tetris and Block Race game. But that time those were just used to a summer holiday entertainments for kids. Later on 20s, China manufactured fake Nintendo game popularity in India, where we used to get game and ROMs, and that time Super Mario and Super Contra and many 2D games were popular among Indians where we used to get many games in one ROM for cheap. After those fake Nintendo, fake PlayStation 1 also came in existence where we were introduced with some more better graphics games and still Indians don't know that those items were fake and pirated games. From that time pirated games became popular. PS2 launched in India on 2008, with a price tag of massive $299, and the original game were also not cheap. That time most Indians used to buy PS2 game CD from normal retail store which came at price of 100 rupees which were pirated. At that time seller used to burn CD with ISO files of games, and sell it for cheap price. Most of people even didn't knew it's pirated as they thought they paying for an original copy. From that time pirated games started getting boost. Then people used to set up game shop, with PS1 and PS2 and arcade style gaming console, where people used to play for hour by paying money. Most people who played were kids, those shops actually helped many to play game by not buying consoles for own. Then slowly slowly Cyber Cafe also started giving game service with a great game, GTA Vice City and GTA 3. At that time Vice City gained popularity as it didn't need a gaming PC to play like GTA SA, they just can run on normal PC. So in this whole era you understood that most games kids played were pirated and for a cheap cost. We have to sometime understand that game price also makes a big difference if game will be bought by consumer or they pirate the game. Let's say this year Minecraft able to sell a lot pocket edition copy as they dropped price to 30 rupees, which was quite affordable to many people. Also in India if price is like below 1000 more chances people will buy the game. Because people will only spend 20% of their pocket money on games. As we can see in America, as the average pocket money they have is more compared to India, they can easily afford a $100 price tag game. But in India people don't get that much. Also the new games which releases need a good PC to run, and in India not many got that much money to spend on a PC. Here most people either have a $300 price tag PC like me, or a mid-range PC with $1000 price tag. Imagine some kids actually buy PC in name of study from parents money, they already will be felling guilt about it, then suppose how they even gonna ask money for game from parents for what reason, most game are $50 means 4000 rupees which is a lot. Also if we even manage to get money for it, but that game will end too, so again spend $50, so it doesn't make sense here because a normal person can clear 3 game in a month easily, so it will be $150 or 12k rupees, it's a normal Indian salary here. So the only way left to play is pirating it. There are many dumb YouTuber with PC made on parents money saying those who pirate games are robbers, but they don't understand the Indian market, they just get game from either promotion or viewers. To be honest, those YouTubers shouldn't comment on this topic as bro you literally get your PC from parents, and you also played pirated games, and also some developers saying if you don't have money don't play game as PC gaming is still luxury. 
Not many developers still targeting gaming market in India, as they already know gaming is still taboo here, and gaming don't get enough support here from government and parents, and they know piracy here isn't a major concern. They know Indians even with money, won't spend much on games as in Indian culture we mainly focus on study than career and then taking responsibility of our youngers and parents, only 10 out 1 Indian is doing PC gaming here. And in 100 out of 1 here will have a good gaming PC, and rest will be either using potato or mid-range PC, so most new games won't run here, so mostly who play pirated games are old games, and most old games already earned a lot in past. Also pirated games keep the legacy alive of games. For example if you want to play old games most publishers stop selling it and only way left is to play the pirated copy, and sometimes devs intentionally get their game pirated. And we have saw that when people play pirated copy and recommend to friends or stream it, games auto get promotion as many will prefer to buy original copy too, as they know pirated version will have virus in it. Also sometimes those who play pirate will also buy original game for getting new DLC or enjoy online content, as pirated versions don't gives those benefit, so we can see pirating also help gaming company to boost sale. One more example is me. As I first played GTA 5 pirated version, then later on I bought GTA 5 original game from Steam, as I liked the game and saw online videos which attracted me. Imagine if GTA Online and new DLC didn't came I never bought it. So basically if a person playing a pirated game and he liked it, there are more chances for him to buy the original copy if game keep giving good updates and DLC like Elden Ring, NFS Heat, Cyberpunk etc. So basically pirating games isn't a big issue, if you don't have console or good PC to play, as it automatically means you don't have money for it to buy. And if you even able to get job we already know basic salary here is quite low compared to other country. As here 25,000 salary is hard to get in start, if you even manage to get it. A good gaming PC will cost like more than 50k rupees, also 4,000 rupees for game. So either you just play game or support your family, you will choose family first for sure. Why? As in other country, government actually give funds to taxpayers to support their citizens. But in India our government good in sucking all money from our pockets and giving a trash service or nothing in return. So that's why we support fan first. And also even if you prefer gaming as career, most country also support in gaming field. But in India our government don't give a trash about gaming. They just want us to slave ourselves to a job and give them tax, so they can make foreign tour. So if any Indian saying to other Indian that, you play pirated game you are a trash can, just simply ignore him like he just a normal dog barking, as in India we first don't have regulation for piracy. Second we don't have support so if you get happiness, by playing a game which is pirated, just keep playing. Also we don't have a good gaming community, most of them either simp or toxic, so we prefer not to play online mode by it. Indian gaming is more like a pond with lotus in it, where many are the dirty water of pond, who are trash talkers and simps, and some who are just good and just care it's a game only, are the lotus, as we don't make any other person uncomfortable by playing. It's actually good our gaming community not popular and foreign, otherwise we are good to make our country image trash with those toxic and sim players. We just don't deserve a community, as we don't have regulation on what we say online. So at last I wanna say playing pirated games is actually risky. If you have a PC with a lot important data I advise you to buy game with 4 friends contribution, so price will be cheap for you and you all can enjoy in family sharing mode. And if you don't have money yet, I advise you not to keep important data in that PC, so the loss will be less, and be ready to install new window when PC crash, so I hope you like video, please remember to like and subscribe my channel, thanks for watching.